Hey guys, you boy Matt Eleven Gaming, and welcome to episode number 13 of our Real Madrid career mode, and we continue, and this is going to be a really exciting episode. We do have uh, two games, and uh, one is going to be the first leg against Barcelona of the uh, Copa del Rey, and uh, it's going to be really interesting, but first, uh, we have a look at the table, and uh, we've got to still catch up, and uh, hopefully we can grab some points here against uh, the this, you know, this first... Uh, Game of the episode uh, in the Liga BBVA. So we are playing against Granata, and uh, we're gonna have a look at, at the team before, as usual, because you know we gotta go um, and get all the players fit, uh, because we got that really important game against Barcelona. So I'm gonna rest a couple of the most important players, and um, and that uh, that includes actually actually as well uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and uh, I believe and uh, it's going to be an interesting match to go and you know try and win um and yeah let, let's jump into the game so uh, we do start uh, it's a it wasn't an easy game I'm going to say uh, because it's those little teams that actually make it's those l little teams that you've got to collect all the points uh, from that you think uh, you it's those uh, games where you think you've got those three points in the bag but it's actually the most important points and the most difficult points to grab and the Ronaldo didn't come off I, I pardon me and uh, I, I must have mixed it up with another one because I've already recorded the next episode and there by a corner after corner a great shot by Ronaldo and uh, we do get, um, we do hit the crossbar with Ramos, I think. And the day, the first opportunity they had, they managed to slot it with PT, and uh, it was it was unfortunate because we were, you know, putting the pressure on these guys, and uh, you know they come down once, have one shot in 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 the whole first half. And, and they managed to score, which is a bit annoying. But for, luckily for us, we do have the big guns as we as we as we have had for all the season. But um, they've proved us like Ronaldo, Ibra, uh, really good and um, through the whole season, especially Ronaldo. Uh, but sometimes it's just not enough uh, because we do lose some stupid points here and there. But um, Ibra was resting because I thought actually Benzema is playing good for me uh, lately in. Uh, in the last couple of games, but he isn't too surprising uh, in the in this match. So uh, probably gonna bring on Ibrahimovic in the next one. Here, guys, is, is something happens that is really incredible. Like these guys, um, the, uh, the, our opponents couldn't clear the ball. There was no way they were clearing the ball, and we kept getting rebounds and lucky, quite lucky in rebounds. But then we could, I could have managed to, you know, score. It was a really good opportunity. It would have put us two one up. And here again, Benzema. But the shot gets blocked, and uh, it, it, you know, it, it, <laughs> I don't know what to say. It kept going on for ages and ages. And Yaya Torre, a great tackle, and uh, you, you see Ronaldo's having another shot, and it doesn't end there, nah, nah, because Kedira manages the slight tackle again. Yaya Torre lasers up to Madrid, but it, it's so annoying how much, how long it took him to react to that. And uh, they should start running before you give the ball and try making runs. Uh, but um, Marcelo, don't know what he's doing up there, manages to steal the ball, and uh, uh, but at the end, he's not uh, too quick to manage and, and score, and or at least even have a shot uh, at goal. Um, but uh, this season is is finding out to be quite difficult in the defensive area. Don't know why, but uh, it's probably because the computer is just so good. It doesn't really matter what defense you have. You just have, have to be uh, get, pay really a lot of attention because everything you just you know you. You you distract yourself for a second, or you're upset, and you don't have to get panic. You don't have to panic because that's the last thing uh, that you should do in uh, these games. And um, we unfortunately do concede the two one, uh, which that me which means uh, we did lose that game. And uh, we drop another well three points, uh, which is really really harsh, but. Uh, hey, we're still in, in the run for the with, for the league champion. So yeah, we here in the next we do get an offer from C Chile uh, to go for the national team. I actually thought a bit about this, and at first I thought I reject it, but then I I thought about it quite you know a lot, and I decided to stall. And if you want me guys to play that game, uh, no, not to play the game, but to um. Uh, acquire for uh, Chile. Just leave it in the comments down below, and I'll I'll it's, it's still there. It's stored, and uh, and uh, we can play it. Um, 
we can do that. And uh, so it, this is the game actually where I'm gonna mess up the team around it. This is where Ronaldo's coming off, and like everybody's coming off here because uh, what I did is, guys, since I'm finding it sometimes really difficult to score against the little teams and all of that, and the winning especially. I decided for this game, uh, I was going to rest everyone anyway because I was um, playing against Barcelona and since we've gone to the semi-finals, there's no point wasting it and we're going to give it our best shot. And uh, But here, as you can see, uh, in the, um, we're going to sim the match in the league because against these little teams, the computer thing that's like, uh, this is how the game completely works. If you've got a really strong team against a little team, you're just going to win. So there's no point going and risk to lose any points into the, you know, playing the actual match. Because when you play the actual match, as I told you before, it is, it's really difficult. It, it becomes, um, it doesn't really matter who you're playing against, but it's always going to be a tough match. But when you see it, Real Madrid, they, they, the game's like, yeah, Real Madrid is one of the best teams, going to probably win it. So, yeah, you, you can sim the match and no problem, you're going to win it. And here we do get win 4-0. And uh, Jose Rodriguez, Benzema, Di Maria and Ibrahim that came out on as a substitute get, get on the score sheet. And we do get a press conference before this really important game against Barcelona. I want to win this. We've got We've gone so... So far into this cup and now I mean we, we don't what don't want to throw it away now are we uh, so the the actually the club actually comes and tell, tells us you you're actually doing well uh, surprisingly because I thought we weren't doing that well in the league but hey it's like expectations I mean we still got time to recuperate so they they looking good so I'm happy about that uh, but I I still I'm not satisfied a hundred percent but in the cup I don't know why we're finding it really really it, not really easy, but much easier than in the in the the league. It's just we win games really easily. And Ronaldo says, because we did arrest him in that same match, he's like, uh, hey, boss, you know, this is Ronaldo, you know, and <laughs> he always wants to play a greedy bastard. But, yeah, I can't complain. I'm going to put it in anyway. He didn't ask to ask uh, because, you know, Ronaldo's Ronaldo. Play great player, uh, probably the best I have in the team. And here I'm, I'm just messing around with the team. Fitness is really low because we're playing, even in the last couple of episodes, we're playing tight games. Like... One, you, we're playing like three games in six days or something like that. Every two days or three days, we're playing a match, which is really, really tough for uh, um, for me to choose uh, between all the players and uh, and the player themselves. So yeah, we do uh, make loads of changes, and we're basically going back to the um, squad, the starting eleven that we usually have. Except that finally, I do bring uh, Ibrahimovic on. After we rested him for a couple of matches now, and uh, hopefully he'll prove good to us instead of Benzema, who did play well the first couple of matches, but he actually plays better when he comes on as a sub for some reason. But yeah, I do also decide to play Casemiro, guys. I'd never played him, and uh, now I'm gonna mess around a bit more with my other substitutes instead of playing the same same damn players every time. And uh, yeah, Casemiro is really really good. I I really enjoyed him when I played him, and um, he's. A, you know, young talent, and he's got potential in him. Even if he's not, we're not gonna use it too much in this career mode. But I am surely gonna use him. And we get off uh, uh, to a really great start. And Zlatan is proving that actually it does take eight minutes uh, to uh, prove that he's he, he's back. He's back. He's like telling me, hey. What are you doing? Don't rest me. I'm better than Benzema. And he's proven it with a goal that puts us in the least a lead against um, uh, Barcelona and uh, in the semi-finals of the cup. But against Barcelona, you know, it's never going to be an easy game, is it? And the Neymar just goes really uh, close to scoring the equaliser there. And uh, then they play really good football. Like, in this game, that's a great defending. You see that collaboration between the three defenders. Um... Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, they they played so much possession football that like they do in real life or they used to do anyway. Um, and it's really really difficult, especially Barcelona. In my experience of FIFA, has always been one of the most difficult uh, to defend against because um, on uh, in this difficulty against the computer, it's already dif difficult how they c dribble and. Uh, uh, Plus, you add Barcelona, who's good on their own without uh, the game doing it for them. And that mix creates a deadly, deadly uh, result. And um, 
the only way to stop it is uh, headers and uh, strength, like uh, like uh, Ibra demonstrates there. Because uh, Real Madrid uh, has, we have a much stronger team and in sense of players than Barcelona do. They have quite short players. If you get Xavi, Iniesta, Mascherano, Mascherano uh, Neymar, Messi, and uh, you know they're quite all they're all quite short and Sanchez as well and uh, Messi. The does though was on duty to score against us and he nearly manages there um um but because he has uh, great reflexes and p- parries there and here um there's a good opportunity for Ronaldo but the keeper just came out at the right time uh at the right place he was and he manages to stop it Ronaldo's trying to get his goal because he really wants it like he's like hey I'm the man has to shine not Ibrahimovic <laughs> so he's gonna do all it takes but finally. Uh, they do get an, uh, not finally, but they do get another opportunity. One after the other, they were battering us, and here another Cesc Fabregas. That quick dribbling, there's nothing you, there's, you can't stop it, and uh, it just goes over the bar by inches. And uh, Ronaldo is here, still trying, cuts inside, and the the shot. Woo, uh, goes wide once again, and uh, he was a bit unlucky in this game, but uh, that goal, this goal from Messi, puts the result to 2-1. I was really angry in the 88-first minute, because, hey, I was dominant, they don't deserve that, and we're going to come straight back with Yara Torre, and uh, he's going to hit the crossbar, and who's there? Look who's there! Goal! Lasso! Zlatan Ibrahimovic after in the 88th minute goes to hug Ronaldo and guys I, I'm sure this goal went in like look at that replay go and see it again I'm gonna put another one because look at that I'm quite sure that went in Yaya Torre's uh, shot came off the crossbar and then I'm sure it came in and then bounced out but that you see there and that's just my opinion I guess but Ibrahimovic gets and completes his hat trick for this game and he's coming he came back from a rest where I underrated him, really strong man. He scored three goals and uh, the rear is clapping around. They're like, mm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, but the important thing is that we managed to win 3-1 in the first leg of this uh, cup and our race. Uh, to this cup that our journey continues look at those stats 59 basically 60 possession uh, percent of possession uh, by uh, Barcelona but we got most of the shots and um, most important uh, opportunities I, I should say and uh, we get um, another um, uh, the 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 the, the, um, the Real Madrid is saying like hey you're playing you're still playing really well and they're like they they since we won this game uh they were like you know we're gonna pray and you know say you're playing well uh sorry if i messed up there a little bit but ronaldo um comes and says thank you for letting me play and uh and um uh, Mar- madrid came comes with the same thing that ronaldo had he, the, cause just because i didn't play for one game you gotta get angry so i thought um since we've been playing the same players and we fitness is like low lately uh since we're in the january transfer market i'm gonna try and sign some players and the first one is gonna be thomas vermalen uh we offer seven million punato fernandez who's another center back really young we're not going to use him anyway uh, but yeah let's you're going to find out to the next episode if we manage to sign him so guys please leave a like subscribe and comment for anything it's been your boy Matthew Level 11 Gaming I hope you enjoyed until next time see ya I'm breaking up I'm tired of this how much more can-